Hi guys, I'm Mary Dawn. Welcome back to MD's Gin Mill Channel Virtual Happy Hour. I don't know what's going on with the internet, but that's okay. We are back. So Miss Judy cannot be with us today because she cannot get in for some reason. I know that there's Comcast trucks up and down the street all over. I don't know what's going on. So if you guys can hear us and see and everything, just give me a thumbs up and let me know where you're from and what you're drinking. Be kind of cool. So thanks for uh, joining us back in. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the boop alert button. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Check out my TikTok, Mary Dawn Mixum, if you're feeling a little frisky. But anyways, so like I said, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, if you can see, because the internet is crazy here in South Florida, okay? So... I'm not sure where we left off, but we were talking about the Widow Jane Distillery in New York City, how absolutely cool it is that they're giving 100% of the proceeds of this bourbon to the USBG, which is the United States Bartenders Guild, and the CORE, which is um, Care on Restaurant Employees. So there's some monies. Hey, Emily, you're in Georgia. You, you got internet. That's the only person I'm seeing so far. Anyways, we're making Coquito today, and I'm not sure if you heard earlier, but all these ingredients, we're going to make two different ones. I've got a master Coquito maker that will be here in just a minute, and I'm going to try my first time at making Coquito. So, without further ado, let's bring in Miss Lila Negron. Come on in, Lila. How you again? <laughs> like I said, if you guys can hear us and see us okay, just give us the thumbs up so we know. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching and what you're drinking. This is Miss Lila. Hi, everyone. Tell me how you started. Do you have a little teeny story? How did you learn this from your mom, your grandmother? Well, my grandmother, but she used to do it from scratch. She would literally like shave the coconut, put it in a towel, squeeze out the milk. Like she like did everything. And it's also made with eggs. But you are allergic and to eggs. Because I'm allergic to eggs. And as the years have gone, people have developed a different way of making it without eggs. And again, I'm not sure if you guys, Emily, hey Emily, hi Emily. <laughs> now remember the coquito means small coconut. So we're gonna make some, let's try this out. So walk me through this. I've got all my ingredients. Yes. And I'm gonna make it right in the blender, right in the blender. Okay, so, so you can just pour everything in, start with whatever. Or your canned stuff first. Okay. Condensed so, milk. Well, you got condensed, I got evaporated. Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, oh, this is thick. Yeah. Woo! I bought a spoon. I bought a spoon. Oh, so I got one too. Scrape it out. All right. Ah, this is gross looking. Woo! It's yummy though. Ugh. Have you ever tasted condensed milk? Yes. Ugh. It's yummy. Okay. And then this is coconut milk. I got my coconut milk right here. Okay. You guys, I'm telling you, if I can learn how to make this, I am the queen <laughs> because I don't have to bother her anymore. It's still not going to taste the same. Sorry. Well, we know that there's a secret ingredient, <laughs> which I think she just kisses her man after it's done. I think that's what it is. Then okay. we have um, cream of coconut, which that's the one you didn't have. I couldn't find it. That's okay. So this because it's a cream of coconut, it can get guapi. Yes. <laughs> of natural oils from, from the coconut. Hey, Dan Sherman. How are you? Make sure you get everything in there. And then on, Dan? I'm missing my sweet and condensed. Okay. I just did it. Let's get that in there. You want to get it all in there. Pull it, pull it. Nice and yummy. I'm gonna take a little drink. All right, now you take, if anybody's gonna ask me how much, uh, that I can't tell you, but it's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half a cup, I have no idea because I've been doing it for so long, I just do it by looking. Okay, so <laughs> a lot, a little. I put enough just to make it okay. really tasty and yummy. I haven't opened this container in five years. I hope it's still good. And you got vanilla. Just a little bit, not too, too much, because everything you're putting in here is sweet already. I haven't opened this. Look how old it is. <laughs> They're going to get poisoned tonight. 
<laughs> Make sure you try my cookie too. So I'm going to be on special at both. I'll give you the gym. Spanish word of the day: chuncas. The gym. <laughs> and how much vanilla? Just a little bit, like yeah, that's good. Okay. And then you have your nutmeg, right? Because I know you have nutmeg. I bought it. I got a pop. So of nutmeg. nutmeg, when you careful with the nutmeg, you got to be very careful. It's really, really strong, and oh. it can yeah, it can overpower everything else. So usually I just put very maybe about that much Ooh. little sprinkle. I think that's probably enough. There goes the poisoning. <laughs> okay. Hey, and later yeah. on I'll taste it and see. So right now you see the star anise and you see the cinnamon sticks. Those are for later. Check this out. I got this cool little shop here in Port St. Lucie called R and B Produce. They had everything all individualized for you. It's only two dollars. These little stars. Oh, that was cheaper than this one. Oh, that's for sure. I know. Okay, that's all we put in there? Yeah, for now. Okay, so you want to make sure you close this and mix it all up. Okay. So now we, we are going to apologize to everybody right now because my ninja sounds like an F15. I don't know how your ninja sounds. <laughs> no, uh, works, but mine sounds like a freaking airplane taking off. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go, okay? No, Turn right. mine on. Ready? And I'm going to go. grandmother taught me so here's the thing uh i don't know if you guys can see me you can see me um usually she would blend for a little while and smell i gotta smell okay so you see how it smells and like <laughs> exactly so Ooh. that means you have to blend it more blend it more Ugh. eventually that stinky smell will disappear and it'll just be fragrant coconut and cinnamon uh, and all the okay. other good stuff. I'm so we're gonna blend. <laughs> Once we do this. Okay. So usually uh, most recipes call for one cup. Uh, uh, mm. When we do cookies at my house, we just do this and we cha la 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 la. And we dance and we sing and we like, oh yeah, uh huh, uh huh. And we just keep going and going. <laughs> and you keep going and going until the blender says, you cannot go anymore. All right. That's how we do that. I'm almost there. And I <laughs> am out of booze. I put some more here. Okay. <laughs> we blend again. We're going to blend again real quick. We're going to do a little taste. We're going to blend and then do a little taste. Funnel. 
probably better. This is a little bit white now, so it, the mouth is white, so I can pour it. I got Bacchus still um, on this cup. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Okay. We do that. Cinnamon sticks again on sale. Hey, Robin, leave a little space and then close it up. Put it in your refrigerator overnight. When you take it out, make sure you shake it, shake it, because the cinnamon will settle to the bottom. Shake it up, pour it in a pretty glass How with a cinnamon, cinnamon stick. I just put one, but oh. you put two. Pour it in a pretty glass with a okay. cinnamon stick. Let's try. And Thanksgiving morning, Christmas morning, New Year's morning, New Year's Eve morning, whatever you want to do, you wake up instead of having your coffee, you have a little bit of this. All right, let's see. Okay. I want to taste yours. All right. I got these cinnamon sticks. Oh, that would be cool. Good, guys. She was missing the cream of coconut. Well, you know, you gotta, it's okay. She's you learning. Provides. So, hey, Amanda, how are you today? All right. It looks good. Check it out. How pretty that looks. Cheers. Cheers. I'm already drinking mine. Sorry. We need another cup so you can taste mine. Okay. Here, you have a cup. I do. You have to taste mine. You'll see what the difference is. Okay. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. Now that's good. <laughs> I told you. That's really good. Okay. Try this. I don't want to. Guys. You have to. You have to. You have to. <laughs> She's missing. All right. She's... All right. Oh, it smells good. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. I think just because it doesn't have that cream of coconut, I think that's why it's a little bit off. But it's not terrible at all. Well, it was my first time. And Amanda, this, well, hers is delicious. Mine's adequate. So. I can practice. I can practice. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, now you know what the ingredients are. It's not that hard. Like I said, usually the one that Jim gets will taste a little bit better than this because I do have a secret ingredient that I cannot give away. Sorry. Guys. Okay, let's see if this works. It's going to look really good. Oh, stop. Oh, oh. All right. Guess what everybody's getting for and Christmas you this can, year. You can use any, oh, that's another thing. Glass bottles, guys. No plastic because, remember, it is a lot of milk stuff. It won't last long. In the glass, it will last very long. You can take any bottle, an old liquor bottle, peel off the um, um, labels, get a little marker, write, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and you can give them out as gifts. And it's really inexpensive besides, obviously, your alcohol. But everything else, if you get it, Big and broken can be very inexpensive. And they're great gifts. And you know, if you know somebody owns a bar, they can give you bottles. Amanda, I will taste test for sure, ladies. You should be here taste testing this, Amanda. Yeah, you should. And taste this one. <laughs> That's what you're getting for Christmas. This is what that hurts. You want this one? <laughs> Jim is going like this, and no, he's got dibs on it. Sorry. Robin, you gotta try this. It's this one's really good. See, what's going to happen is I'm going to try to have her drink a lot of it, and when she gets drunk, I'm going to switch them, and I'm going to have the good one. And then she can say, look what I made. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that is that concludes our Coquito demonstration. And I know that we posted the recipe last week. I'll post it again. Yes. And this is the eggless one. So if anybody's allergic to eggs, this is what you want. Robin, if you want to do it the right way, there's plenty of recipes online. I can almost guarantee you, though, that's a lot more time consuming because it is a raw egg and you've got to know what you're doing. So this way is a lot easier. And hey, it looks really good. I could probably fool a lot of people just telling them they're drunk. That's why it doesn't taste as good as hers. But these, Amanda says, these kids keep me homebound. Well, maybe I'll drop some off for you. <laughs> but Lila, thank you so much. If you want thank to stick around, I, guess I can yes. show you some cool stuff that you I can. will. I'm going to go give Jim some of this now. Okay. You guys, don't forget, Coquito, the small coconut, is an awesome thing that you can do with your kids or with your friends at your house. Maybe have, like, the girls over. You know, it's a weird year, and 
a lot of people don't have a lot of money, so this doesn't cost very much. I think the whole thing maybe costed like, besides the booze, probably like under 20 bucks. And you can make lots of these for people, you know? So anyways, Robin, hey, I'm from Pittsburgh. Oh, nice, nice, okay. So anyways, check out some of this cool stuff. Usually Judy's hanging with us, but like I said, I don't know what's going on with the internet today. So I'm going to show Lila some cool stuff. This, you know, what I'm going to do the second Monday in December, which is December 16th. Remember Oprah's favorite things? Well, I'm doing an MD's holiday list. And I'm going to have all this cool stuff on there, presents and different stuff you can order online. Still get it by Christmas. And here's just a teeny sneak peek. This, this one's really cool. Hendrix Gin, and I know if Judy was here, we'd be talking about the only two people we know that like gin is Heather and my mother. But look at this. This is the coolest thing ever. It's called the Hendrix High Wheel, okay? Wait till you see this thing. Look at that. It's an exercise bike. It's got a little cup holder for your gin, Ricky, or, you know, your martini with gin. And you ride it. And guess it only costs $2,493.11. Lila, you gotta check out this exercise bike for gin drinkers. What? Isn't that cool? There's <laughs> also something super, super cool that you can do if you like champagne. And I know I love champagne. So Moe Chandon has come up with the personalized bottles again this year. Check it out. They've got the Imperial Brut and the Imperial Rosé. And each one, I think it's 49 for the regular Imperial Brew and 69 for the Imperial Rosé. But you can put people's names on it. So if you can fit Mary Dawn on one, because they, they let you go for 16 characters. There's plenty of room. What a great Christmas gift, okay? But also, bourbon drinkers, Woodford has their holiday bottle out. Check this out. It's a beautiful little snow, little scene, okay? Now, this is only $49.99 for a one-liter bottle. And this is um, featuring the architect. He's a UK architect who drew this. His name is uh, Nick Hurst. And he's saying that the snowy scene on the bottle celebrates the fact that whiskey ages all year long, regardless of the weather. So that's cool. And I have another cute little Santa beer for you, okay? This is called Rogue 2020 Santa Reserve Cream, okay? It is a peppermint bark milk stout, okay? 8.34 ABV, only available November and December. So make sure you get to your local places and get some of this Rogue Santa Reserve, okay? Let's see. And, you know, in honor of our camera guy, Jim, who considers New Orleans his hometown, I wanted to bring up something kind of interesting. There is one of the oldest breweries in New Orleans. It was originally called Dixie Beer. But due to the fact that everybody's changing their names because it's not politically correct and all that stuff, okay, they did an online submission, and they got 5,400 different submissions for naming of their new brewery. They came up with Fuborg, Fuborg Brewing Company. And that's what it is. And like I said, they've been around since 1907. They also have the Dixie Beer Museum. So if you make it to Louisiana, New Orleans, you wanna check that out. It's pretty neat. And the, actually the word Fuborg in French means neighbor. Robin says, I like the whiskey, Mary Don. Yeah, me too, $49.99 just for the whiskey. Not bad. But yeah, like I said, if you're in New Orleans, check it out. Dixie Beer Museum, and it's the new Fuborg Brewing Company. All right? So that's just a little taste of the Maridon holiday list. We've got the Hendrix High Wheel. We've got the Santa Beer. We've got the Moet Chandon Champagne. And then the last one is kind of interesting because we were making Coquito. This is called Cutwater Valley High Tiki Holiday Spirit. Okay, so what it is, it's an addition to their rum series, and this is a rum that is made with pineapple, coconut, cinnamon, and a hint of holiday spirit. 
And it's basically reminiscent to an eggnog, but with holiday spirits. So that's $29.99 for $7.50. So you can have your Coquito or you can have your Cutwater Valley High Tiki Holiday Spirit Rum, which I bet Miss Lila would love. But, you know, that's pretty much it. There is a lot of cool stuff going on. Who else we got on here? Anybody else? Emily's up in Georgia. We've got, uh, oh, hey, Kelly Maraglia, how are you? But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry about the late start. You never know what's going to go on when you're live. But that's the fun of being live. So like I said before, I will post this recipe so you can make it. If you have any questions, just send us an email or send us a little DM, whatever you got. Let me know. Also, tell me what's going on with you. Tell me what you want me to check out. You know, the main thing I need to find out for this holiday season is hangover helpers. So I know we've talked about it a million times, but whatever your favorite hangover helper is, send it to me. Hey, Kevin, how are you tonight? I know he was with me yesterday when the Buffalo Bills lost. So pissed. So pissed. Anyways, that's okay. So let me know your hangover helpers. Also, don't forget, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Check out my TikTok. And thanks for joining in, guys. And you know what? I'm going to have a little more Coquito. Where did it go? Cheers. Have a great week, guys.